Here's a quick tutorial for you Replay Media Catcher 4 users to help you get up and running with Replay Media Catcher 5. So here's what you're used to. You open up Replay Media Catcher 4, you click on this big green button to start recording. You go out to the internet, you start streaming some media, and Replay Media Catcher 4 starts capturing it, and you see the progress of your downloads in this screen. When you first open Replay Media Catcher 5, you're going to be presented with a tutorial page. This is just to help you get up and running and get you used to using the program because there's so many wonderful features here. So the first thing you'll see here, it says download video, music, and radio streams from the internet. To get started, what you want to do is click do it now. It then turns on internet monitoring, or in other words, it's going to start recording. And as soon as you start streaming media that the program can capture, Replay Media Catcher 5 will show you your download progress in this screen here, which is the internet screen. To start the program, if you're not using the tutorial screens for help, all you would do is open up Replay Media Catcher 5, go to the internet tab, and turn on internet monitoring. In Replay Media Catcher 4, once you'd completed recording something, it would appear here in the user interface. If you wanted to access many of the features of the program, you would highlight the item, right click on it, you could delete it, play it, convert it, all from right there. In Replay Media Catcher 5, you can either right click on the icon associated with your recording to access all the program's functionalities, or just click the little down arrow to the right of the program. Either one will work. This will give you access to playing the file, converting the file, saving to MP3, a whole variety of functions. In Replay Media Catcher 4, you would access the converter either right here in the drop-down menu or by right-clicking on the file, as I said, and going to convert. In Replay Media Catcher 5, you can also access the converter by clicking on the down arrow and going to convert. If you haven't already set up a conversion setting, it'll bring up this window that says no conversion setting selected, and you can use this little drop-down menu to access the converter and then click OK. Another way to access the converter for the program is to go to Library, which is a new feature in Replay Media Catcher 5. The Library screen, much like a library in your town, is the repository for all the recordings that you have created with Replay Media Catcher 5. And right here where it says No Conversion Setting is a drop-down menu set up by Device Type, Manufacturer, and Model. It's really easy to find the conversion setting you need. It also offers you just the simplicity of choosing via format or no conversion setting. So you can set up the program in advance, much as you had done with Replay Media Catcher 4, to automatically convert all your recordings to a particular conversion type if you want. Other quick note about the library screen, if you want to view in list mode, you can do so here, or thumbnail mode is right here. Replay Media Catcher 5 includes so many wonderful new features. Please make sure to check out the product page for links to how-to videos, how-to articles, as well as links to the user guide and of course, remember, if you have any questions or problems with the program, don't hesitate to contact our fabulous tech support. Thanks so much. Have fun.